So as we grind through the deepest, darkest point of the depression phase of the market cycle, where no sane mind is meant to hold on, we get to stay on top of the facts, which we're going to dive into a massive news day. But just remember, this is the environment we're in. It lingers way longer than anyone anticipates. It's like being in a desert where you don't have water. You start to question things. Your resolve starts to weaken. We see headlines like this. Binance could face fraud charge from U.S. Department of Justice. That's the world's largest exchange. U.S. Department of Justice is going after it. But what is actually happening in the crypto space? Remember, the market makers want people to sell and they expect and know people will sell at the point of maximum financial opportunity. Opportunity. It's not painful because it's coming down. It's painful because it lingers and people get bored. So just a few more months of this pain. In the meantime, we're staying on top of exactly what is going on in this space. The SEC now ready to consider ETH futures ETFs. What happens when they start doing chain link ETFs, HBAR ETFs? We're still in the early stages. Wall Street piling on. Traditional finance giant direction joins crypto ETF race by filing for combined Bitcoin and Ether futures fund. Dubai awards Nomura, one of the biggest banks in the world. Their digital asset subsidiary gets full Dubai crypto license, right? The biggest organizations investing right now when other people are selling. KPMG backs Bitcoin sustainability, unravels misconceptions, and embraces opportunities. People pay KPMG, one of the largest consulting firms in the world, for their opinion. They're saying Bitcoin is green, that it is definitely an ESG asset, right? You have huge companies adopting it. Amazon Prime is giving out free NFTs for this Polygon game. Prime subscribers can now snag a free Polygon NFT, an in-game currency from Mojo Melee, with more freebies to come. This is the future. Amazon.com, obviously one of the biggest companies in the world, partnering up with Polygon, right? So much going on, including Vodafone Group partnering up with a Polkadot parachain asset, Aventus. We're thrilled to partner with Vodafone Group, a multi-billion dollar company, bringing Web3 to Vodafone's business clients via a bridge between Vodafone and Aventus Network, leveraging Vodafone's vast global network with 160 million plus Internet of Things connections. That is a massive data point. Lots of people will sleep on it, but it's truly epic.